There is so much to learn in the wonderful field of gastronomy. Firstly, I suppose, that it's not an actual field. Though with all the vegetables and livestock and so on, there may be rather a lot of time spent in the field. There you have it. The study of food really does cover so much ground that we only manage to stretch the surface and talk about grass. Let's have some music, shall we? are expensive and education is priceless. The Harrison Wolf Show, baby. All right. Oh this is Harrison Wolf bringing you the Harrison Wolf Power Hour. I've been seeing a lot of stuff about colleges lately. Lots of study here, learn so and so, qualification this and qualification that. But let me tell you something they don't want you to know. It's a scam. All of it. Frequently asked questions. No, I will not be your friend.
it's not on your CV, it didn't happen. Not to me. Hitting the box doesn't mean what you think it means. Students are reminded that some grades are personal. We've all been quizzed at school, but what really happens during a test? You get a question, you write down your answer, and then some bozo tells you that you're wrong. But who's to say they're right? What's so great about their answers? If we've all got the same answers, then what's the point of there being so many of us, huh? I tell you, it's a crime that they make kids take their tests. Not a real criminal kind of crime, of course, but it's majorly uncool. And that's the kind of crime. Frequently asked questions. Yes, we are testing you. Frequently asked questions. No, your chicken should not be pink. It's not your year, it's just another year.
founded to care about students. I shouldn't have to tell you, but if Jumbo McNally's getting involved in something, you know it's bad. Jumbo University? Huh, what a racket. You can teach Mr. McNally a lesson by signing my petition to have him fired into space. needed in dormitory. New from Smell My Cash. Being a student is hard enough. The least we could do is give you loads of money. Smell My Cash for students. Sure, you have to pay it back, but that's future use problem.
ask questions, I believe that smell is you. Ever thought about why they're so keen to teach us to read? Think about it. So we can read what they write. <laughs> what makes so much sense when you think about it? It's just another way for them to control us. That's why I only trust the Daily Disorder for my news. They take the regular news and turn every word into an anagram, breaking down the code. You can't understand a thing. It's perfect. Frequently asked questions. Your food is cold because the oven wasn't on. Security breach. Please change your passwords. Sorry.
I got into radio because of some fancy piece of paper? No, sir. Radio is pure jazz, man. It's alive and unpredictable. You can't just learn it. Sure, you could pay some big shot to tell you which buttons to press and when, and that's fine. But that's not radio. Not really. Here's another previously scheduled song that I didn't choose. Frequently asked questions. I believe that smell is you. Here's a question from Kevin and Flottering. Hey Harrison, what was your favorite project in school? Well, it's a good question, and you gotta remember, just because education is a scam doesn't mean all those teachers are bad people. So, to answer your question, I used to like making the little volcano. It's pretty trippy to learn that volcanoes are full of vinegar, right? But how do we collect it safely? I don't know. But that's what they ought to be teaching us, man. We're sorry for the litter that you... Oh, sorry, that's mine.
Education is non-refundable. that you came here on purpose. I never went to college. At least, I don't remember going to college. Anyway, I turned out just fine. Join me at the same time tomorrow, when the day sun goes bye-bye and the spooky white beach ball casts down its dark favor on us all. Good night. Students are reminded that you don't have to ask to go to the toilet.
Distracted students should pretend that they're listening. to have the time of their lives. Students are reminded to be in two places at once. are reminded that this is the fun part. Tuition fees may be spent on administrative bonuses.
advice the longer you've been revising. to Campus Radio, the sound of student life in Two Point County. I'm Felicity Bellbottoms. Now, everyone has been talking about the campus supermarket and our brand new frozen treats, but we'll be wading through the fudge to look at the story of two students crushed under the weight of free toppings. Stick around. Plagiarism is not a belief system. Don't eat home. Unattended sandwiches will be eaten by me. Concern about the flowers on campus this autumn. Where have they gone? Why aren't they here anymore? Didn't there used to be flowers over there? These are just some of the many questions posed by concerned, botanically inclined students. Pinned for comment, the lead groundskeeper referenced the seasons.
organised panicking. The academic year is starting soon. Was there anything we wanted to do? It's time for the story of two students who are finding news of the campus supermarket's new ice creams difficult to swallow. That's right. Ben and Sarah used to go out to the green, their hearts full of gumption, their cool box full of lollies. But it's not been the same since campus supermarket opened its Sunday bar and shaved ice station. They were just a couple of students looking to make some honest money in the harsh summer heat. But business has cooled off lately. As for the lollies, well, they're melting now. Spare a thought for them the next time you're enjoying a fudge sundae, buy one, get one free, all day, Wednesday, at the campus supermarket. Fliss, back to you. Students are asked not to ask questions.
Hey guys, guys, hear me out. What if we went back to school? It started as a class reunion and ended with them back in class. That's crazy! Hey, I'm climbing on a statue! Whoa. Everybody get in the shed! I can't revise anymore, my knees hurt! Roderick Cushion is varsity freshman in Immature Students. Frequently asked questions. No, you can't have an extension. asked questions. No, I'm not seeing your frog. That's all from us here at Campus Radio. Just a reminder that if you have any interest in getting involved at the station, please do reach out. There really is a lot of airtime to fill and try as we might, we just can't fill it all. We're open to news reports, reviews and opinion pieces. Really just anything that will take up some dead air. Good night. There's a fly in here. Thank you. 
maintenance announcement. Plants need water, remember? are reminded to find themselves. taking your medication because it's time for the Harrison Wolf show here on Two Point Radio and it's going to be a wild ride. It's me, Harrison Wolf, the voice of freedom screaming into a thankless night. It's going to be a huge show today. So I'm going to eat a big old sandwich. Let's power up and power on. University gives you a bright future and clouds it with debt.
stupid questions will make you look stupid.